Oh, Shadow, AP needs to go too. You know, I don't really know that AP is to blame for this, man. There's a couple of moves. And, you know, AP is not performing as a head coach the way I really pictured that he would. So he might need to, right? But part of what I'm seeing is that um, Tom Telesco really made some weird decisions, you know? Like Antonio Pierce was like, I want to trade up. I want to get a quarterback. You know, let's bring in uh, Cliff Kingsbury, right? Cliff Kingsbury comes in, and then he finds out we're not getting a quarterback, right? We're not going to move up. And he went, oh, wait, you guys aren't going to move up for a quarterback? Never mind. I am not going to be a coordinator for Garner Minshew, right, and Aiden O'Connell, because that's really risking his career. And so then he went over there to the commanders where he knew he was going to get to play with one, I mean, coach one of them top quarterbacks, either Caleb Williams or Jaden Daniels. And so that was an amazing decision on his part. And then Josh Jacobs wanted to stay, but he said, you guys got to go up and get a quarterback. I'll take less money. And Tom Telesco said, go get your bag in Green Bay. Right? So Tom Telesco is, is low-key doing some shady things that I'm not really happy with. Chris, with the $5 holler, what's going on? Need to move forward. It was time to clean the cancer. No more complaining and crying. Draft a QB, new and young OC. Chris with the haymaker over here, man. You know, uh, I appreciate you for the super chat, man. I really, really do. So that's a big one, right? Is that like if you guys saw it, and I didn't watch the receiver show, right? Because I saw enough clips and things like that all over social media, all over everything. Just the way that Adam's behavior was, you know, with Jimmy Garoppolo. And yeah, you know, we we like the thing of like when Antonio Pierce took over and you see Devontae Adams dancing in the locker room on the sidelines and they're, you know, celebrating, smoking cigars. Like that all looks great and we love that, right? But never mind the times when he's pushing down, um, I think that guy was like a cameraman or something. Um, you know, when he's frustrated on the sidelines and pissed off and rightfully so, right? But there was a lot going on that Adams was obviously not happy. And since he was obviously not happy, it's like, you know, um, why, why would we believe that he was a positive person in this, in this locker room? Right. Um, so no more complaining and crying, right? Adams, he's not on the same timeline as us is what it really comes down to, right? Adams was not on the same timeline as us because he is in win now mode. He's at the end of his career. He's really trying to get his stats. That way he can get into the hall of fame and he's trying to get a ring. And that's what he wanted to do in Vegas, right? He wanted to come over and play with Derek Carr, who he knew would force him the ball because Derek Carr does this thing, right? Hunter Renfro, Darren Waller, like where he just, he picks his one receiver and he gives that guy the ball over and over and over. And you're going to get a hundred receptions under Derek Carr, right? And so he came over because he wanted that, which he had his second best career game. And then on top of that, um, he's thinking we could possibly win a Super Bowl. The Raiders might be a quarterback away from a Super Bowl. I mean, not a quarterback, sorry, a, a wide receiver won. And that did not go well. Now, if Josh McDaniels had never come in, let's say we stayed with Rich Bisaccia. Rich Bisaccia might not have done a trade for Devontae Adams, right? Or it wouldn't be Rich Bisaccia. It would be the GM, right? Um, but... That might not have ever happened. Devontae Adams might have never been a Raider. But let's say Devontae Adams comes over under Rich Versace and the way that these guys were playing under him, there was a higher possibility of having a really good season under that than with Josh McDaniels. Because let's face it, Josh McDaniels was a bigger cancer than Devontae Adams ever was. And really, you're right, Chris, that, you know, about cleaning a cancer because it, it we're at a point where of course he's feeling negative, right? Of course he's feeling negative. He didn't get what he came over here for. And so, yeah, he's going to be a cancer to the locker room, a cancer to the team, clean house, get him out of here and, and move forward, right? California Dave, unfortunately, I think our offense is beyond repair this season. You know, Dave, 
you might not be wrong, man. You know, I think Aiden O'Connell definitely came in too late. And I think that even if we started Aiden O'Connell day one, Devontae Adams was still going to want out. It was going to happen, right? Do I think that we had a better chance of keeping Devontae if Aiden O'Connell was the starter from day one?